Welcome back, everybody. Here to show us how to transform simple flower pots into beautiful so statement pieces is Maria. Maria, very cute. Maria always fun. makes a statement. Oh, I try you with do. DIY, yeah. and so, the, I know. And you're right. I, and I do. I, I did that today. I don't know how that happens, but anyways, what I love about flower pots is they're really inexpensive. I have yeah. about a million laying around my house. So if you have some at home or you want to do a project, it's like low cost is the way to go. But you can make them look really expensive, and I love having fresh flowers sure. and fresh herbs Me at my too. house. Sure. This is a great way to display it. And to right. your point, they can be so plain looking, but not yes. not after you exactly, get through. Exactly, exactly. So, so you can do whatever aesthetics you have at your house. So we have like our the one in front you can see is very like rustic and woodsy, and I have mm -hmm. the uh, little white one over there is very chic, it's and then braided. some colorful ones. Okay, so yeah. take us through how to do some of these. Well, first of all, what materials oh. do we need to start with? Okay, so you can see I'm rolling out some clay. Okay. No Can't surprise to it. anybody a that big fan never of the clay. ever. Oh. Ever well, happens. Um, no big so clay. I have the clay, and so I have obviously our pots, some paint, and to make the little wood ones. This is actually just fake bark. You can get this at the craft supply store. You can get this online. It looks real. And some moss. It's fake. And if, yeah. My goodness. Oh, sorry. The glue gun's off. Oh, and don't Be let careful. the glue gun burn you don't either. Let the glue gun. That's a little dangerous. It's a little dangerous. <laughs> sorry about that. So let's get started on this one okay. over here. So you can see this is the sh very chic, I know it hurts, like the very girl. chic one that I have over here. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling out the clay and you want it to be in a really thin uh, line like this. And all I do is braid it so you can see this is actually air dry clay. You know okay. I love the oven bake, but this is air dry clay. Uh, no, can you the, the no the bake. bake you love the no bake. I mean, how does that work? If so you if you do... If you want to use the oven bake, yeah. you can. I, I was a little concerned that it was going to um, tighten up on me and it was going to break. Right. right. So that's why sure. I just aired on the side of side side of caution, and I use the air dry. There so what go. I Even recommend it's called air dry. It. It's not called no bake. This is the yeah the air dry. And so what I do is I start braiding okay. like this. I mean, it's basically, it's no big, it's same thing. Right. Uh, okay. But you so just start braiding. How I do my daughter's hair. Oh, look at you. You know how to do Layla's hair, that's I sweet. The, uh, that's the also a great tip when using this, the flower pot that you're using, you wanna get it wet because this will actually make it adhere a lot nicer. Okay. So and once you get it wet, you can see where I stopped right here and you just go over, I'm doing this backwards. Okay, here, and you would wrap it around. It'll stick when it's wet. So you just kind of can right. it, keep pushing it. it on. Push it around. Yeah, push push it on like so. Well, it's got a nice detail. That's a really exactly. nice effect. I love Isn't that. Isn't that it so really fun? Nice. And how so long does it do take that? to dry? So this will take, I would give it, depends on the weather, maybe 24 hours. But usually with an with uh, air dry, you want it to be 24 hours. And get it wet because it'll stick. You can go back in with some glue afterwards yeah. just to secure everything. But too. it really does look a lot more Could you, you could paint this, correct? If you oh, wanted yeah, to. you could paint it afterwards. It, it'll harden like on. another. And if like, you paint it, it could look like that woven um, leather, the very expensive <gasps> woven leather bags. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, really so cool. speaking of painting, Debbie. this next pot uh, transformation is all about adding a, a pop of color. Yeah, so I was actually inspired by this one because of my website. Yeah. I have the background of my website, uh, it has, you can see right here. So I was asking Debbie what this is called because I <laughs> love this design. It's called, I thought it was iCat or... It's iCat. I -cat. It's I -cat. I -cat or yeah, iCat. It's okay, a we lot sure. in, uh, in fashion. And I, I love the design, so I wanted to figure out how to do that for the flower pot. So I just painted it white first, do a couple coats of just a white paint, and you can see all I did was take a paintbrush. This is what you want to do. First, start with your... You can see I, got, I did get it started, but I'm going to show you how to get to that point. So start with your diamond shape here. And you're just using like a regular uh, paintbrush here, but in order to kind of make it look like that fabric-y type of look, what I yeah. did, I use a dry brush. Okay. And just kind of do this. Oh, and that nice. Creates to make a it bleed really, a little bit. Exactly, yes. and it makes it kind of just really that that look of, of a fabric because it's, so the actual fabric is a very mm -hmm. intensive project. And then what I would do is go in and fill in the top and the bottom, like you can see over mm -hmm. there. And you can add any, and go back in obviously with this. And that little, and I'll yeah. turn it so you can see, kind of like go go in there and do the center too. And that little uh, technique also sort of uh, lets you get away with a few mistakes too. Right, exactly. Kind of like, yeah. It doesn't, that, and you know, a great trick too. Very I'm so glad you mentioned yeah. that. So you would go in and do this, of course. Sure. But what you could do is actually dip it in the white, and you can kind of clean this up. If, yeah, yeah, if you go a little too crazy with sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Just like this one. So our final one is really beautiful and rustic. We're not going to make it, but you're going to tell us how you made that. Oh, it's so, yeah, it's so e easy, but it's just this. And all you do is add it with a glue gun. And mm -hmm. you can see if there's any breaks in it, any open pieces, you, add you the moss. fill it with the moss. It's, so it's perfectly imperfect. And you can just cover everything. And it has that great rustic look to it. It's so cool, Maria. Thank you.